What's going on everyone? Jack here from Heffram and today I'm talking about this. This is the uh, Jumper T-Lite. Not to be confused with the X-Lite over here, uh, but similar form factor. So the thing that makes this different is it is a multi-protocol radio. So that means you can fly FR Sky, you can fly Fly Sky, you can fly Spectrum, you can fly Hubson. Yeah, all those little toy drones, you can fly a whole lot of them with one of these. No, no, you can't fly DJI. You got to have one of their remotes for that. But uh, there's a lot of really nice things that I like about this, starting with the form factor. I've always been a fan of the gamepad style remote. And uh, but until now, there really weren't any multi-protocol options. So uh, stay tuned and I'll tell you more about this jumper T-Lite. So I'm going to hit the highlights and we're going to talk about how do you set it up, how do you add this little module bay on the back, and how do you get going if you want to fly with one of these. Uh, but first, things you want to know. Now it's running OpenTX um, on this tiny little LCD screen, so that's cool. These gimbals are Hall sensor gimbals, and I do really like them. If you're a thumber, this is a really nice radio. For pinchers, I don't know. Um, it feels good with my right hand, but not my left, but you know. I guess in time. I'm gonna be using this thing. Uh, so this isn't a full review, but just kind of an overview of what it is and how to get it going. So I'm gonna put this thing through the test. You know, if you wanna know how I like it, check back in um, or check out our live stream. I'll be talking about it there too. Other things you're gonna to wanna to note, um, it's USB-C up here. Now that's for charging, so that's cool. It takes one 18650 battery. Um, they say make sure you put it in correctly, but they don't tell you which way to do that. I will. Um, we've got an audio jack here. That's for uh, simulator if you wanna fly using this with a sim. We do have a spot for an SD card. No, they don't give you one. They also don't give you a battery. Uh, this antenna is removable. Uh, it also folds. We've got a speaker here, lots of trim buttons and then some navigation buttons as well. Kind of disappointed that I had to take this thing apart to put this module bay on. Uh, I'm guessing they were trying to rush this thing out to production. Uh, I don't know, maybe Radio Master's got something in the work and they wanted to be first to production. I, I don't know, but either way, it's a pretty solid radio for 65 bucks. Let's take a deeper dive. All right, so this is the Jumper T-Lite. I think it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> that uh, they couldn't come up with a more original name, right? This is the FR Sky X Lite. Um, and it is a nice, small gamepad style uh, remote. So if you're looking for something that's small, hey, this is it. And you know what, it's multi-protocol. Now there are two different versions. Um, you know, if you want the full multi-protocol, make sure you get the four in one. It's a little bit more expensive. This thing's about 60 bucks. And it supposedly has hall sensor gimbals, which are really nice. Um, you know, you got your four switches up top. Uh, you got your uh, buttons here to kind of manipulate the menus, trim buttons here, system, and model. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, you'll see USB-C here. That's for charging, SD card slot, trainer port. On the bottom, there isn't anything there. And on the back, you notice we got a hole there. Uh, and that is if you want to add, you know, this module bay. Right, so if you want something like, you know, this is my R9 M Lite Pro, you know, Crossfire, you know, with the FR Sky, it's already on the back. Kind of disappointing that you gotta open this up and put it on yourself, but you know, that's what you get for 60 bucks. Um, it is running OpenTX. You can see it's got a tiny little LCD screen. Yeah, look at that, OpenTX. So that's kind of cool. So let's talk about now, I haven't flown this a lot. This is gonna become my daily driver for a while. Um, you know, so we'll we'll check back in later. This is just kind of, what is this? Do you want it? Is it something that you're interested in? So I will be flying this thing for a while before I give it a full review, but people are curious about it. So I thought I'd put together a video, let you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so I need to set up a model for this. I'm gonna hold this model button. Um, and then I'm gonna use this model button to kind of move through the pages um, until I get to my mixer. I'm gonna go down, right? Set up my channel five, enter, um, source, right? I'm just gonna set up my switches, right? So, whoops. And hit enter, flip my switch, back out, 
I go to two, six. Enter. Down. Can hit enter again. Now I'm just going to set up these four switches up top. Return, return. That'll make them active so I can put my arm and my angle mode and all that fun stuff on them. So again, go to channel seven. Enter, down, enter, flip the switch I want for that one, return, return, and we're going to set up channel 8, enter, down, enter, I'm going to flip that switch there, right? So now I've set up my four extra channels that I use, these four switches, so I can put different modes and things on them. Right. Now, what about this uh, thing in the back? Let's take a look at that. Before we do, something that I found interesting, uh, this battery bay isn't labeled negative and positive, negative on the left, positive on the right, and you have to have one with a tab. If you have a flat 18650, um, it won't fit, um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, it does charge via USB-C, so that's a bonus, uh, but there's only one, so don't expect this thing to last forever. Um, all right, so I'm going to take the battery out, and then I have to take off these six screws. Okay, set your screws off to the side so you don't lose them, and we're going to pry this open carefully. I lied. Two more screws. So as we look in here, uh, I'm going to take this off just to kind of make it easier to see what we're looking at. Alright, so we've got our all sensor gimbals. I'm going to plug this in right there. but. Make sure you thread it through the back, right? Um, okay. I'm going to plug this one back on the power. Put it back into place. I'm going to put my eight screws back on. Now I'm almost done. I gotta get this in place. I've got three more screws to add. All right, put it back together. And if you have a module, uh, you can just slide it in. Now they do recommend that you only power this on 25 milliwatts unless uh, if you want to go higher, which it can, um, they recommend that you get an external battery source. I think that's so you don't drain the singular one um, 18650 battery. Okay, so for size comparison, I've got the Beta FPV X Lite. You can see the jumper and see, you know, it's a little bit smaller than the FR Sky X Lite. And from full size radio, yeah, it's definitely a little bit smaller. When I compare it to something like the TX12 from Radio Master, also multi protocol, um, yeah, they're about the same in terms of feel, but obviously different style. Let's get them on the scales. I do have a battery in there, so 248 grams with a battery. Um, these all have batteries. 227. Actually, does this one? No batteries on the X Lite. 319. 3, 313. No battery. Radio Master. Obviously going to be the heaviest, 865, 64 with your two cell, two batteries, 389, no batteries in this one. So uh, just a quick comparison. For your fly, you have to bind it, and let's just kind of look real quickly at uh, what that really means. So hold on the model, we get into our model, all right, we're going to press the model button again, um, we're going to scroll down until you get to the internal RF.
All right. So you can see I turned it on multi protocol, but by default, it was actually off. Uh, what we do? Up, down. All right. So it was off. Right. So the up, down buttons get it to where you want. Um, and then once you have that, enter. And then you have to find, you know, the type, the, you know, the, the protocol that you're actually looking for. And I'm, again, enter. Um, and then up or down, you gotta find what you're looking for. So I'm actually looking for FR Sky. Enter. I'm gonna go down again. I'm flying D16 here. Channel 1 to 16. Receiver. I like to keep all mine zeros, and then I can just bind them all. And then model over. And then enter to enter the binding phase. Right? Enter again. And it'll beep because it's binding. All right? Once you've bound, then you can fly. My first impressions of this thing, I do actually really kind of like it. Uh, the small form factor is pretty solid. Um, moving to pinching, mm, it's going to be a little bit of a, 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 an adjustment for me, but you know, everything's an adjustment, right? So um, we'll see how this thing fares. Uh, I don't know how long these batteries are going to last. I don't know how long this thing is going to hold up. Only having one 18650 is kind of a bummer, but USB charging, super easy to just uh, get this thing going again. It is so light. Um, there is no battery strap, so that's kind of disappointing, uh, but pretty solid option here. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, hey, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, if you're really interested in more content, check us out on Patreon. I, I kind of give the patrons a little heads up about what's going on with the channel. Plus, uh, one of them gets a drone, a free drone, once a month. So definitely pays to be a Patreon. If you haven't already, check us out on halfchrome.com. We've got everything from FPV to photography. Hey, good luck and happy flying.